This is McCook's Mr. Bills from the honor to have you here. Well, the news media have been busy, haven't they? Yeah, that's right, beating the war drums, trying to get us to go to war over in Korea, or maybe on the other direction with Syria, looking for some kind of a war to get into, you bet, and for Trump to make a mistake, you bet. A hundred people were killed over in Syria, maybe not quite that many, with gas this last week. Not a good thing by any means, but it was a hundred people. One hundred people. Putting that into perspective, in World War II, we bombed a single city in Germany in one night, and we caused a firestorm that killed a hundred thousand men, women, and children. We never said excuse me for that, nor should we have, but I'm just putting it in perspective of a hundred getting gassed. Add fuel to the fire. I see England and a lot of other nations complaining about that hundred getting gassed. But you know that in World War II, Germany, when they were getting ready and it looked like they were going to be invading England, England, who had signed Geneva Convention saying they would never use gas, never use it, were planning to use mustard gas, a deadly poisonous gas, on the Germans as they landed on the beaches in England. They were going to gas them and kill them. Yeah, so much for rules and regulations in war. And I'd finish it with this. The United States, if we had an insurgency here of some kind of faction within the United States attack and look like they were winning to a degree of trying to overthrow the United States, do you really think for one second they wouldn't use everything from gas to biologicals, whatever it took to destroy whatever was coming at the United States? I think Syria has that same right to fight for its existence. My thoughts, you keep yours clean and they stand on Donzi 52.